hodl than Bitcoin. <laughs> He's photobombing all my shit. Um, <laughs> that's okay though. So Rodolfo Novak from uh, from Open Down from Cold Coin Kite from Cold Cart. Uh, so you make a few things. Yeah, you make you make a lot of stuff. Uh, so we're gonna we're gonna chat a little bit about the Cold Cart because I was playing around and the setup is very very different from the typical hardware wallet. So you, the typical. Trezor ledger. Yep. You get your your seed phrase. Yep. You set it up, and then that's that. How is it different with the cold card, and why? So the the problem is, you know, after we closed down CoinKite.com, we were sort of like, you know, I need to keep my coins, and you know, and, and so I ordered a bunch of the wallets available, the harder wallets available, and uh, I mean, we broke them apart. We were like, nope. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm not using this stuff. Well, so what, what did you see that? I mean, like? you know, one of them is open source. Okay. It doesn't have a security micro. Okay. And it gets hacked every six months. Yeah. I mean, like, yeah. it's unacceptable for a product that's one of the first ones to be hacked every six months, right? Yeah. And then you have the other one that's closed source. It uses a secure micro, but it's completely closed source. You yeah. can't trust yeah. Bitcoin okay. closed source things, right? Yeah. Yeah. So. We're like, okay, let's uh, build a open source hardware wallet that has a security micro. <laughs> you know, we happen to have a world-class secure, security hardware expert you know, yeah. on the company. So, you know, let's put the resource to use. So yeah. uh, we, we worked out with Microchip uh, to let us open source because a lot of this uh, security micros have uh, non-disclosure agreements mm -hmm. that don't let you open source. So, but we did work out with them to yeah. make it open source. Okay. And, uh, so we build cold card based on this model. Mm -hmm. This model is you have a secure enclave there that is super secure. Yeah. Right. Like you can't peel that chip very easily. It's got all kinds of protections. So and the seed is stored in there. Yeah. Right. Like your your private keys is stored in there. Yeah. Um, and the reason why cold card is so different than all the other wallets, mm -hmm. aside from these two main things, is that it doesn't need a computer. Yeah. So we worked with core devs to get the BIP174 uh, standard out, PSPT okay. files, mm -hmm. right? So that you can have an unsigned transaction file out, and then you save that into the SD card, you yeah. put it to the code card, you sign it. Yeah. So the, the key here is one of the best Wait, ones. Let's, oh, just for people that are, so some people, there's some newbies that are right. Um, okay, so, no, it's okay. No, so, um, so um, essentially the difference in, what's in what you're trying to do there is you're trying to essentially structure a transaction that says, I approve for only this set amount of funds to be moved from, from, from this, this. No, no. So, yeah. um, essentially, let's say, so when you set up a cold card, mm -hmm. right, you do that without a computer. Yes. So the trust model is, is kind of simple. So we have the super secure device. Mm -hmm. It never touches a computer. Yes. You could use it with a computer. Yeah. Right. But you don't have to. Yeah. You can plug it into a USB battery. Yeah. Right. So you know that when you're setting up that seed, the device is completely disconnected from anything. Yes. The chances of you getting on on that are pretty low. Yeah. yeah. Right. So now you have your wallet working. Right. Mm -hmm. So you save the XPUB key. Right or this or uh, an Electrum skeleton wallet into yeah. the SD card. You take that SD card and put it in the computer. Yeah, and then it helps to set up a wallet to the computer. Right, either uh, Bitcoin, uh, even either Bitcoin Core. Yeah, or uh, Electrum. Electrum. Yeah, you know, or uh, I think Samurai supports PSPT now. Okay, yeah. so so you set up a wallet on your computer. Right, yeah. that, that wallet doesn't have your private key and you never have your private key. Uh, okay. Yeah. So you go to your Electrum. Right, you want to pay somebody. What you do is, you know, he knows the, the, the coins you have yeah. because it doesn't have, you can't sign. Yeah. Right? So you make a transaction and then he saves the transaction yeah. to the SD card. Yes. You take that SD card, you go into your, you know, like yeah. your dungeon with, you know, like your <laughs> tin foil hat yeah, and, yeah. you know, like, like you cover everything, yeah. you know, you stick it in your device, yeah. you put your pin, he unlocks the private key inside the device, yeah. and then you sign the transaction. Yeah. You take it out, you put that back out, back in again, and then you go back to the computer, you stick it in, and you broadcast the transaction. So essentially, it's really cold. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's 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 it literally never touches. So we actually like to say that all the other hardware wallets are actually not cold. Yeah, they're really not. 
Yeah, because at some point they touch a computer. Yes. And now one of them has a radio, like it has Bluetooth on it. Jesus Christ. Yeah, that's okay. So how worrying is that? It's very. Is it? Very worrying. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I mean, like extremely. I mean, listen. You know, it, it, it's not that like you know. Don't try to fud it, right? Like it's yeah. not like. It's just that every time you add something, you create a new attack vector. Yeah. Right? And there is a lot of clever people who are going to exploit a, like, a variation of it to try yeah. to make it happen. Yeah. Right? Um, so I personally would never put a radio in a, in a cold, yeah. harder wallet. Yeah. Maybe a harder wallet that you're going to put less funds on it. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. You, you know, uh, maybe a lightning yeah. harder wallet, but yeah. never on your potty like yeah, your, yeah. your gold pot you yeah. know like so it's 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 levels of risk right yes. so like so i mean if if it's life savings then then you you're wanting to treat it yes. like that right yeah. you you never want it to touch exactly. anything connected to the internet at exactly. all um and so when when you see stuff like that where okay you've got bluetooth then maybe as like a two factor for for day-to-day -day funds yeah i i don't know like i just i don't like that idea and i also don't yeah. so and then there is the problem that all these wallets support a ton of shit coins, right? <laughs> yes. I yes. mean, but the, the problem is like every time you add more code, mm -hmm. right, to something, you have more attack vectors, yeah. right? So, and, and you know, it's more code to review every time you update the device. So this is a massive security risk, yeah. right? So what I'd say is, you know, buy one of those wallets for your shit coins, yeah. and then you have like a cold card, like a very cold one that you yeah. never touch a computer for your like savings. Yeah. Because he also lets you do encrypted backups into microSDs as well. Yes. It's kind of cool. Yeah. Um, and then you maybe have another cold card that's like your warm wallet, right? Like he yeah. lives on your desk. Yeah. It's for a few bits and you don't want to like keep the stuff in your computer, right? Yeah. And then you have something else for shit coins. Kind yeah. of, that's how we kind of see it working. Yeah. Yeah. Fair enough. So, so basically, keep your shit coins off your stuff. Yes. <laughs> you I mean, you know, like, yeah. you don't shit where you eat. Well, yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Perfect. I think that's a good way to end. I like yeah. that. Yeah, we're going to leave that. So, Rodolfo Novak, uh, check him out. So, where, where can people find you and everything that you do? So, uh, coinkite.com slash store. You can find you can pre-order uh, Code Card Mark II, the second version that has real buttons yes. on the keyboard. Yes, I'm excited about that. Uh, <laughs> we have uh, the open dimes for sale there. We have the new block clock, our yes. fun I saw device. That. Yes. And a uh, ton of merchandise, and we have a new product coming soon. Cool. Alright, yeah. well, yeah, check it out. And your NVK on, on NVK on Twitter. On Twitter. So, yeah. Yep. Yeah. Awesome.